on completion of this media presentation you will know the procedure mandated by the intact stability code on preparations and procedure for the conduct of the inclining test the ship is moored in deep sheltered quiet waters where she can be inclined freely without coming into contact with either the berth or the bottom moorings should allow unrestricted movement but also provide proper restraint to the vessel tanks are either pressed up or emptied and stripped to minimize free surface effect inclining should be carried out by shifting weights ship should be upright with all the weights to be shifted in position transferring ballast to list the vessel may be allowed if the administration grants permission weights should not be of the type that can absorb water example porous they should be sufficient to incline the vessel by 1 degree to 4 degrees so that there is no change in the shape or size of the water plane of the ship during the test pendulums are the preferred method of measuring inclination deflections u tubes and inclinometer or pendulum combinations may be used with the authorization of the administration pendulums should be positioned so as to allow deflections of up to 15 cm on either side for an inclination of 4 degrees pendulums should be made of piano wire or mono filament wire and be 4 to 6 meters in length pendulum length is accurately measured and recorded three pendulums or minimum two are set up as in figure a trough filled with water is provided to dampen oscillations deflections are measured by engineering scales after the deflection is marked on the baton before commencing the inclination the dock water density is measured with an accurate hydrometer inclining weights are marked with their weight and position before being placed on board a set of 5 free boards on either side or 6 drafts forward aft and midship are taken to obtain an accurate displacement from the hydrostatic tables Vessel is inspected to check that there are no items that could shift during the inclination. Weights are moved transversely in the same direction so that the vessel's trim does not change. Eight movements are made and deflections recorded. On completion of all movements of weights the ship should again be upright Movement of weight deflection and the resultant value of tan phi or deflection divided by length of pendulum are recorded and plotted as follows for each movement A straight line passing through the center indicates a perfect inclination that is no free surface bottom touching or wind data is recorded in the presence of the authorized representative of the administration